Oh, dude, he's running. Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> Hang <laughs> on, bucko. <laughs> Hang on. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today is the third video of the Alaskan videos and today we find ourselves out on the ocean. For the last couple videos we've been fishing some smaller rivers and today we're out on the big water. Now this is something I have never done before. Obviously I've never been to Alaska. I have been on the ocean but it's all been warmer climate and uh, today we find ourselves out here a couple miles out and we are going to be going for some halibut. Now I have never caught a halibut and i've never actually even eaten one before so this is completely new to me i have no idea what the heck we're going to be doing how hard these things fight or any of that judging off of the rods though it looks like these things do a little bit of fighting so i'm going to go ahead turn it around to some people that actually know what they're talking about and they can explain kind of what's going on and uh, what we're going to be doing to catch these fish today all right well if we go to the back of the boat here we got a new guest on the channel. Say who you are and uh, what your favorite Alaskan thing to do. I'm Jaden, and my favorite Alaskan thing to do is definitely to fish and hunt. Go out here a lot. Today, we are gonna be jigging and bottom bouncing salmon heads for halibut. Planning to get a few few big ones on the salmon heads. You'll know when they bite. Yeah, I you'll can know, tell. You'll know. These rods are uh, very, very big, so I'm imagining these things fight pretty good, huh? Oh yeah, and so what you want to do is drop it to the bottom, feel it hit the bottom. It'll go slack, you know. And we're drifting, so you got to keep letting line out here every little bit. Right now we're fishing at exactly 100 feet. Wow. And once you feel that bottom, you just pop it on the bottom, and it'll just, when you go, boom! All right guys, well I'm going to strap on the GoPro start doing some jigging and uh, hopefully we can start getting hooked up. Oh, you reeled up and got back down? No, I didn't reel it up all the way. Oh, grab that, grab that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you want that? What you happened? Reel, reel. John? Uh, oh yeah. Oh, dude, that rod was like in the water back there. Holy cow. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, that like bent oh, yeah. over. Nick, there you go, baby. Let's go. Yeah, see what the burn is about. Oh my god, dude. Let's go, baby. I didn't think I could get that rattle with the rod holder. That was crazy. <laughs> Look at that. That one's a gaffer, but like, I'm saying, like. I just raced him. Come on now. Well, I, well, we'll keep him. Sheesh! Not bad. It's not bad, Taco. I would eat that. Huh? No, like one my size again, though. Well, it's got the first one for, for me. Not very big, but I uh, can feel the power. You know that a big one uh, would definitely have. First halibut ever. Throw him in the box. Look quick. at you. Crazy. Little meat run, huh? It's a crazy looking fish, that's for sure. Awesome. Exciting. Yep. Oh. Yeah, you were. I guess they all look good on that rod. Yeah. But that looks pretty decent. I'm going to say that one looks pretty good. I'm going to say it's a good one. I'll put this back on. Doesn't feel bad. Yeah, every time you move, it's like everybody hooks up right away and then. Word gets out. 
Don't be biting those lines. Sam, get one? Yeah. Wait, are you doubled up right now? Doubles? Mix on, then spray them. Okay. Dang, dude, this is a. Uh... Ooh. 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 I'm gonna say it's a heater for sure. Yeah, it feels all right. <laughs> Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Oh. A little bit of drag pull. Yellow pencil right there. <laughs> Sam loves those though. Not a bad one. Oh, come on. Reel up a little more. Oh yeah, not too bad. Not bad. Not bad. That's a little easier. Nibbles. Oh, oh, get him, oh. son. Yeah. Oh, oh. Don't think so. Oh, oh, get that back down. Get that back down. Oh, uh, that was, was, was kind of a good bite, huh? Yeah. I want that. Thought I would have had him, but nope. Might be a big trick. Oh, I, I watched that. Don't He's got bait. <laughs> Yeah. Reel it up, Nick. I'm a sandwich. Yeah. Whoa, it's it's big too. Yeah, you getting me? Or what? I think so. Come this way. Well, I just missed one there, and then this one hit right next to it. Oh, dude, it's just staying down there. <laughs> I feel like I gotta like put the rod. Just shoot oh, yeah. you got it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. No hard Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, dude, he's running. Oh man. Oh god. <laughs> Hang on, bucko. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Yeah, that's some power. Oh, that rod like slowly loaded up too. I watched that. It was like a slow I I load up. Actually, you want to put this over? Um, I'm going to grab the scaff real quick. Yeah. Just leave him halfway in the water. All right. Or like his his head a little bit out so I can pop him. Ooh, this is this is kind of exciting, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> My arm is dead, dead, man. <laughs> Your arm's dead? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big lefty. <laughs> oh, that's right. Not a big lefty. Are you grabbing it first? I think so. Back up, Nick. No, it's not. Oh, it's not too short. Oh, he jumped off the gap. Oh. <laughs> oh, he jumped off. What is going this on? on over there? <laughs> oh, Sam's on too? Oh boy. Okay. Run, she's ready to shoot. This is ready now. Yeah. And she it jumped out of the water. <laughs> what happened yeah. there? What is it jump? No, I want there, so you clipped well, it? Yeah. Up. Where's oh. the where's the gun? I got it, I got it. No oh, baby. <laughs> this is I thought we good. had it. I thought we did too, then <laughs> it just went bam. See ya. Not, Not a bad it's, one. It's like That's definitely nice. Straight up and then you bring it to him. Look at that! Nice, nice uh, fish. And then we come over here, Sam. Uh, give him a fish. Me a oh, it's the little guy. <laughs> you versus the uh, guy she tells you not to worry about. Yeah, I can feel the burn. <sighs> I gotta hit the gym with my left arm a little more. Apparently, was that exciting for you? Yeah, that was fun. Go. That was a blast. Uh, thanks, Annie, for uh, giving me the rod on that one. <laughs> I missed one, and then uh, this one Probably just that peeled one. It's on the same over. One. Definitely the same one. You think so? Oh yeah. That's like a thing they do. Well, obviously, he took the bait off the first one, but 
Man. Cut them open and see. Incredible, <laughs> incredible fight. That's a good fight. My, nice my arm really does hurt. Oh, oh yeah, that's a nice box. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we just put all the rods back in the rod holders. We are calling it a day. We got, what, nine fish? Something like that. Something like that. Uh, pretty close to our limits. We easily could have had our limit, but we threw a couple of the smaller ones back. Uh, we're looking at a lot of meat. Uh, these fish have a lot of meat on them. I'm not sure exactly how much. It's probably well over 100 pounds. I mean, the one fish alone uh, was 70, we don't know exactly, but 75 pounds probably. That's what they say, so a lot of meat. Uh, right now we're going to be heading back to the harbor and we're gonna start filleting these bad boys up and uh, I'll probably show you guys that process and uh, see what the meat looks like. All right, you guys, well, we have made it to shore and the boys are busy cleaning. You can see all the, all the fish we got and uh, the meat is definitely piling up pretty quick. So, there's this line you can see hardly on this. Here, I'll flip it over first. Maybe you can see better. So you see this line right here. And if you press hard enough, it'll move its fins too. So what you want to do, how I do it, because I'm a lefty, I start up here in that soft meat. Find the hard meat right there. And then follow down it. Cut my slit right here. Find where it's soft on the meat. Cut to that, flip it this way. Then you just run your knife down the, the spine. And it folds out for you. And you just keep going. So yeah, you get four fillets off of one single fish. And uh, yeah, the meat is definitely piling up. Oh yeah. Overall, fantastic day. I mean, it surpassed everything I thought it was going to be. Uh, the fight was absolutely incredible. And I'm hoping that it tastes just as good as everybody's saying it is. So, next part of the video you guys will be seeing will be the cooking process. I'm not sure exactly when that will be, either here in Alaska or back at home. But uh, either way, that'll be the next thing you guys see. And uh, I'm excited to try it. All right, everybody. So we are back in the lower 48. We are in Wisconsin. We're at my house. Now, this part of the video is where we are gonna begin the cooking process of this halibut. Now, when I was in Alaska, we did end up eating some halibut, but we did not film it. It was kind of just like a late night activity that we just wanted to all sit down at the dinner table, talk, and just enjoy a good meal. And we did that a beer battered style, which is what I'm used to, you know, here being in Wisconsin, beer battered walleye is like the top dish that you guys can probably prepare um, around the area. So to me, that was fantastic. It was my first time ever having halibut and it was awesome. But today, considering I've already had that, I wanted to shake it up a little bit. I wanted to do something a little bit different that I've done with chicken, because if you guys have not had halibut before, it's pretty much the chicken of the sea. At least to me, the way that they made it the other day, it tasted like chicken. So today we're gonna be doing like an oven baked style dish. Now, if I go ahead, we got our halibut right here. Now I do have to take the skin off of this quick, so I am gonna be doing that, showing you guys how to take the skin off in case you don't know, and then, we have two simple steps that we're gonna be doing with this baked fish. Now, the first one is we are gonna coat the entire halibut, the outside of it, with this Southwest Chipotle Ranch. Coat that up real good, and then we're gonna roll it around in some frosted flakes. Now, I, I know, it sounds like a crazy combination here. One time, my senior year, I did take foods one and two. I know, you can judge me if you want, but it was fantastic, I had a lot of fun in that class, so. Shout out to uh, the foods teacher for showing me how to cook. But in that class, we did a similar recipe with chicken where we did like a three cheese ranch 
and then we coated it with cornflakes. Now with this, I wanted it to have a little bit of kick and then I also wanted it to be a little sweeter. So instead of the cornflakes, I did the frosted flakes. And instead of the three cheese, I did the chipotle. So coat that up real nice, throw it in the oven, 400 degrees for probably, I don't know, 12 to 15 minutes, we'll have to check it. Probably won't take too long and uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna go ahead, start getting into the cooking process and see how it turns out. So as you can tell, this is a giant piece of halibut and this white stuff on the other side here is the skin. Now, normally I would take this off on the other side but you can't really see it a whole lot. So I'm gonna go ahead, just cut a little slit, flip it over and then you're pretty much gonna do this just like how you fillet fish at home. Have a little piece of your skin on the other side grab hold of it, and then you're just gonna cut through it. Now, I should be doing this on a cutting board, but uh, considering I already had the plate dirty, I decided to just go ahead and send it on this. So, go ahead, run it all the way down. Now, not a very perfect job by any means, but you can tell, don't have any more skin. Maybe just clean up the piece just a little bit here. All right, we cleaned up the piece, looked around for some bones, took off the skin, and now we probably got a good I don't know, eight ounce filet of halibut, nice and thick. Now the next step is we're gonna put the ranch on. All right, so now for the coating of the filet. Wow, I almost just broke the bottle. So go ahead, just get yourself a plastic bag here. Dump a little bit in. Wanna make sure that we get this coated completely. So go ahead, put your piece of fish in there. Close her up. Make sure it's closed and you got stuff going all over. And then you're really going to want to just coat the entire piece of fish. Go ahead, get another bag, dump the plastic plates in there. That was probably a little overkill, but that'll be alright. Go ahead, get your fish out of the bag. Wow, I used a lot of ranch. All right, take that out, nicely coated. Plop her in the bag. Close her up. Take her all about. Make sure you get that all completely coated. My bag is absolutely a disaster, so hopefully my wife doesn't kill me. Then, go ahead. Take it out, should have it completely coated like that. And then the next step is we're just gonna toss it in the oven. Bake it, like I said, 400 degrees for, I don't know, start checking out like 12 minutes, probably go to 15 minutes, and we'll see what the finished product holds. So your piece of fish should look something like this. Go ahead, put it in the oven. Set the timer, we'll do, we'll start at 12 minutes. 12 minutes later, I'll pull it out, we'll check her, and uh, we'll get that first bite. All right, 12 minutes is up. Go ahead, well first, turn that off. Take it out. Check out the finished product. Well, hopefully done. We'll have to cut into it and see. Well, it's not looking bad. Well, look at who made it home. <laughs> Hi. Just in time. You're going to be the guinea pig on the uh, finished, baked, I don't know what to even call that, but you're going to be the guinea pig, so. Okay. <laughs> a weak bite, but we'll accept it. I just went out for breakfast. Okay, ready? Cheers. Oh. I can taste the ranch. You said there's ranch. Mm -hmm. It's very good. It's like chicken. It literally tastes like chicken with frosted flakes on top and you're dipping it in ranch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for a bigger bite here, unlike Caitlin. Give her a shot here. That's pretty good. <laughs> Isn't it? It actually is. It's like just enough ranch, 
but it's like this Chipotle, so it's not like true ranch. I'm not a huge ranch guy myself. Probably already heard me say this like 10 times in this uh, little cooking portion, but this really does taste like chicken. So if you guys are not like super big fish lovers, this doesn't taste fishy at all. I mean, it took me probably, I don't know, five minutes to make this meal besides the cooking portion. Altogether, probably 20 minutes uh, to prepare this. Super easy, only two ingredients and the fish and uh yeah it turned out pretty good which is good because i'm actually really hungry so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna eat the rest of this I'm not gonna share it with caitlin no but wait honey wants a piece oh man you want one honey <laughs> she'll probably like anything i present her but we'll give her the old dog test 10 out of 10. give me a high five if you like that oh oakley's going in for one too can't give it to one without the other <laughs> one knows how to eat it off a fork and the other one doesn't but that's all right so i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna wrap everything up here thank you guys so much for making it to this point in the video if you made it this far we don't do a lot of catching cooks on the channel mainly because i'm not the one cooking at home i'm not an expert uh that's usually the person behind the camera my wife caitlin so shout out to her but if you guys want to see more catch and cook videos just leave it down in the comments let us know. Um, I know we don't have halibut here in Wisconsin, but we can maybe figure out some other species and uh, do some recipes for you guys. So if you enjoyed today's video and the whole fishing side of it, please make sure to give it a like. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we are going to be posting all the way through uh, the summer months and the fall months. I know that's pretty rare for our channel because normally we go MIA all the way until early ice, but we're gonna give her a good try this year. So. If you guys want to see more content, make sure you guys are subscribed. That is all I have. I'm going to finish eating this, so I will catch you guys on the next one. Tight Lines from NB Edits.